Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Jimmy Dore Show. I'm here with comedian extraordinaire and star of the new Showtime hit series. I'm dying up here. It's Rick Overton. Hi, Rick. Hey, I'm recurring, but I'm glad to be on six out of the ten. That That's a starring as far as I'm concerned. I have farm, me too. Next to him is Ron Placone, everybody. Hey, Ron. Howdy, howdy. Uh, so, you know the debate over single-payer health care uh, is never spoken about um, correctly uh, on the news. Like, we've watched them talk about it. Um, like we just saw Claire McCaskill and Rob Portman on MSNBC uh, take a series of questions about the health care debate and not one time, and they were all asking, what's our solution? What's the solution? Not one time did they mention Medicare for all or single payer. Mm-hmm. Th- that's the solution and everybody knows it, but it almost never comes up on corporate television. Except, here's this guy, took a Canadian <laughs> to bring it up, right? <laughs> so he's a Canadian. His name is Ali Veshi, is how you say it? Veleshi? Belshi. Belshi. And he was, uh, uh, I've seen this gentleman on MSNBC. And so he, uh, Bernie Sanders' channel put this uh, video together, this montage together of him debating this knucklehead of a Republican uh, who's against single payer. So let me just tell you if you're watching this show and you're against single payer, you don't understand how it works. Uh, Medicare is the most popular in- health insurance program in the country. Guess who runs Medicare? The goddamn government. Guess who administers the health? Private doctors. Private doctors at private hospitals with private nurses and private pharmaceuticals get the money from the government to take care of you. That's what Medicare for all means. It doesn't mean the government g- performs health care on you. It means the government is the single payer. They pay the doctor for you. Do you understand? And guess what happens when you have a single payer system? They negotiate the rates way lower, they get their drug prices way lower, and everybody saves money, which is why Canada pays half as much for better healthcare outcomes than we get in the United States. And unnecessary surgeries go way down as the incentive isn't in the same place. Yes, the incentive is on getting healthy, not in getting someone rich. Right. Right. So um, this guy, he's going to make almost all these points. Let's just watch this. This is fun. People in Canada, people in Norway, people in the United Kingdom, the people ones- in Sweden, people in Denmark, they don't all come to the United States for health care. Why do you say that? <music> Nowhere on the face of the earth is there a free health insurance market that works there is no actual free market health system and that's because uh, no profit making company would ever choose to willingly insure a sick person or an old person they just don't do it so the only way this works is as a risk pool now the only way to cover as many people as you can with a risk pool is to do what most countries most uh, modern countries have done and that is a single payer health care system let's actually bring back affordable insurance for working class families where there was never a Affordable insurance. I'm a business guy. I'm a capitalist. Mm-hmm. If you could show me a system where this actually works, uh, an unadulterated free market system where the market handles it all, I would embrace it. But this is what we in business call a market failure. If you could point me to one and say what that a free market works, it's just one of those areas that a free market doesn't work. Worldwide, right. it has never actually worked. Unless there's someone forcing everybody to get insurance, the private markets won't do it on their own. Yeah. You see it all it's the time. True. People in Canada come here for, for extensive surgery. They come here and get it done in the United States. Sir, I, I grew up in Canada. I live in Canada. My entire family's in Canada. Nobody I know ever came to the United States for health care. I'm sure you have a handful of stories about things like that. It's not actually statistically true. There's no rush for people to come to America where health care costs twice as much per person as anywhere else in the developed world. You know, sir, that in all those countries, all the developed countries that have single-payer systems or universal health care, happiness about health care is actually substantially greater than it is in the United States. Then why, health, do all life here? why do they all come here for they don't, come here. they don't all come here. You Rep- yes, Republicans say that all the time. Surgery. They don't they all come here. Surgery. They, they come don't come all here. come here. Afterward on Twitter and, and, and anecdotally, I checked to say, am I out of touch because I've been living in the United States for a while? And everybody told me the same thing. No. There are dotting the Canadian-U.S. border in places in Washington State and Michigan and, and, and up, upstate New York. There are MRI clinics, x-ray clinics, things like that, where if you don't want to wait to get your MRI and you're prepared to pay cash for it, you can do that. There's no real medical care that Canadians are coming to the United States for. And certainly, when it comes to prescription health, it's the other way around. Americans go to Canada, yes. either online or online 
or physically to get their drugs. In all of those countries that I named in that clip, people in Canada, people in Norway, people in the United Kingdom, the people in Sweden, people in Denmark, outcomes are better, life expectancy is longer. So there's, I just want, and I know there's a lot of uh, people who watch this show, um, or uh, there's a substantial number of people who watch the show who are Trump voters. I understand why you voted for Trump. I wanted to smash the establishment too. But single payer is the way to go, just so you know. And everybody loves Medicare. Everybody who's on Medicare loves Medicare, okay? And so it's just propaganda. Whenever somebody says anything, why does everybody come to America for their, they don't. They don't. That's because they don't. Uh, that's propaganda. Just like the guy told you. He's from Canada. He's a capitalist from Canada. Nobody he's ever known has ever come to the United States for health care. It's twice as expensive here. <laughs> Just so you know. Um, so if you are uh, a Trump voter... Uh, I just want you to wake up to the fact that... Uh, government can run health care way more efficiently than private health insurance and big pharma. And it's the kind of thing we have to band together on so we can collectively bargain with big pharma. That's why drug prices are a a half, even sometimes way lower than half in Canada and other countries, and they are here because they negotiate the prices down. That's why. By the way, big pharma piggybacks on government research way more than the other way. Go... uh, uh, because that's what they say. Oh, they have to charge high prices for pharmaceuticals because they have to fund their their uh, research and b- getting new drugs, and it's really expensive. And if they can't overcharge Americans for drugs, if they can't charge me five hundred dollars for an inhaler or five hundred dollars for an EpiPen, which costs a hundred bucks in other country, not, they won't be able to get new drugs. That's all. That's bullshit. How can we torture beagles with the makeup if we don't have the money? Yeah. How can you afford cheaper drugs? That's really what people say when they say, oh, how are you going to afford Medicare for all? How are you going to afford cheaper health care? So I wanted to play that so everybody got it uh, and and we could stop being bullshitted by corporatists who just want to gouge you and put a profit motive inside health care. Hey, everybody, the next live Jimmy Dore show is August 16th. That's a Wednesday, new time, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. show, 9 p.m. show, August 16th in Burbank, California. Get your tickets right there or at jimmydorecomedy.com.